literally. Welcome to the world's first augmented reality video game. I realise that we've reached kind of a point in uh, gaming where it's actually, it's actually removing interaction between people and I really wanted to change that, bring the gaming back into the real world so you actually once again we're socialising and playing together. To achieve this feat, Dr Chook first turned to augmented reality, something that he had already been working on. It's technology that allows computer images to be seen against the backdrop of the real world. You know that annoying little voice in the car? 300 meters, turn left and turn left. Yes, that's right, sat nav. He realised that by combining it with his augmented reality system, he and his friends could take to the streets and play their own version of Pac-Man. But there's one tiny problem. Unfortunately, most kind of consumer GPS systems are only accurate for about five to ten metres. So we use a RTK GPS system. Normal GPS uses signals bounced off satellites to track a position. However, it's only accurate to within a few metres. RTK, or real-time kinematics, uses a ground station in addition to the satellites. Because the ground station is nearby, the RTK system is accurate to within a few centimetres. Perfect for chasing your mates with pinpoint accuracy. With his new super accurate guidance system, Dr Chook could finally realise his dream of playing Pac-Man outside in the fresh air. And his first battleground, the university car park. You put on your wearable computer and your head mount display and then suddenly your real world becomes transformed. And so you actually now are ex uh, experiencing a kind of game where you feel like you've picked up your body and put it into a Pac-Man game. Let the games begin. The idea is to spot virtual yellow dots hanging in mid-air, run around gobbling them up. Meanwhile, your playing partner is after you. When she looks through her goggles, she sees you as a big yellow blob. And her job is to ignore the dots, track you down and eat you up. After that, it's game over. It's just a prototype at the moment, but in the future, Games like these may be just the thing to get lazy kids off the sofa and playing in the middle of the road again, just like the old days.